Hello video creators, in this video, we'll explore the Esify 2 extension for Premiere Pro and After Effects. Esify simplifies the process of creating and applying custom easing to your animations, eliminating the need to navigate through Premiere's awkward curve editor. Esify now offers two curve options. The first is a curve with bezier handles, while the second is a mathematical curve. Let's begin with the first one. Customizing it is simple, just drag the ends of the bezier handles. To clarify, the x-axis represents the duration of the animation, and the y-axis represents value. A straight diagonal line signifies linear motion, while a curved line generates smooth animation. Hold Shift to snap to borders. Alt plus Shift plus Control to move the graph around. Alt or Option to keep the handle within the bounding box, Control or Command to mirror the handles, and use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. To reset the Bezier position, click on the start or end points of the curve. You can flip the Bezier handle position by clicking the arrows. To mirror the animation curve, click the arrow buttons one after another. Once you're satisfied with the animation curve, save it to presets by clicking the plus icon and naming it. You can add as many presets as you'd like and change the size of preset icons. To delete added presets, click on the edit icon. After that, you can select which preset you want to delete and then press the bin icon or the cancel icon to cancel the operation. You can also swap two preset positions for better organization. To apply easing, position the playhead between keyframes and click Easify button or choose a preset. The extension will insert keyframes in between. Unfortunately, the extension can't interact directly with keyframes due to Premiere's limitations, which is why it uses a workaround. You have three options for applying easing. Between individual keyframes, between all keyframes, and to the entire animation path. This option is similar to a rove across time in After Effects, but for any property. You can sketch out the path you want for an object to move through without worrying about timing and apply the desired easing. Esify remembers which keys were created by it, making it possible to remove keyframes while keeping the original animation. It works with any easing option. You can also simply overwrite easing instead of removing and reapplying. The only exception is if you had custom spatial interpolation, there's no way to restore it. Here you can set the interval for newly created keyframes measured in frames. The ideal value is one frame. All input boxes in Esify 2 support mouse control. You can drag the mouse within them to change their values. Hold Shift for values to change faster and Control or Command for them to change slower. Now let's take a look at mathematical curves. Use arrows or the drop-down menu to switch between easing types from sine all the way to bounce. Use a slider to switch between in-out or both variants of the curve. There are two control panels. Right now, they are linked with each other, but you can unlink them to create unique curve combinations. You control the switch point of graphs with a slider. The end point of the first graph and the start of the second are linked to the slider, making it possible to control the switch point of the animation curve. It opens up a realm of possibilities. You can unlink it by toggling the link icons. Shift-click the link icons to change options for both of them simultaneously. Graph combinations mostly used with special graphs like back, elastic, and bounce. Speaking of special graphs, you can customize them with input fields that appear when they are chosen or click on a text near it to enter the customization menu. For back, you control the amount of under and over shoot. There's no need to enter the customization menu for it since it has only one parameter. In the elastic curve, you can customize the suppression amount, frequency, length, and phase. There's a reset button if you want to go back to default values. For bounce, you can customize it however you like. You can control the number of bounces, fly time, first and last bounce strength. You can also control the bounce decay with this slider. If you want to get more specific, you can press the gear icon to change the strength of each bounce. Esify also has functionality to copy easing curves from Premiere Pro itself. It's great for syncing animations for different properties. Position the playhead between two keyframes and click the copy icon. If there are two properties animated between keyframes, you'll get prompted to choose which property you want to copy. After you've copied easing, you can apply it like you would any other easing by clicking the paste icon
or you can save the copied easing to presets by clicking the plus icon while holding the control or command key. The UI is flexible, so Esify will have no problem fitting into your workspace. There's also an option to hide graph controls to save precious screen real estate. Now let's take a look at Esify Preferences. To access the Preferences window, click on the burger icon and go to Preferences. Here you can change the colors of the first and second graphs, as well as the thumb color of the slider. You also have the option to choose whether or not you get prompted with action confirmation. When the player is between multiple keyframes, Esify will prompt you to choose to which properties you want to add or remove easing. You can skip this part by choosing not to prompt you with it. The first checkbox lets you apply and remove easing regardless of the playhead position if the All option is chosen. This is great for applying easing to multiple clips at a time. You can also make Esify highlight buttons on operation completion. There's an option to use milliseconds instead of frames for keyframes interval. To apply the preferences, click on the Reset icon. Esify also works in After Effects. The main difference is that you just select keyframes to which you want to apply easing. You can also simply undo the action instead of removing, but you can also do that by selecting an array of keyframes. The extension will remove all selected keys except for the first and last ones. Also, Esify 2 now has two pricing tiers, Standard and Pro. Standard only includes custom animation curves and no mathematical curves, while Pro has everything. That concludes the overview of Esify 2. Be sure to grab a free trial at aescripts.com.